All right, so in this video, we are going to look at transcription, the first part of going from DNA to uh, making a protein. So the first step is called transcription. Again, this is video eight. These are going to be slides on our Orange Georgetown Tech um, PowerPoint from this, uh, slides 47 and 49. Now, transcription is going to involve DNA and RNA, specifically a type of RNA called messenger RNA, right? that first type. Now, transcription, it says, is a process of copying DNA sequence onto the RNA sequence. And so, um, the, like I say, the DNA, which has all of the genetic codes, it's going to, uh, we're going to need a certain protein. Our body will make a messenger RNA. It'll go in, find where that section of the, the genome that we need to make a copy of, it will unwind. The messenger RNA will go in between the two strands and make a copy of one of the strands. Um, and again, uh, RNA polymerase is an enzyme that catalyzes the formation of the messenger RNA from the proper strand of DNA. Uh, not going to be something I'm going to test you on. More importantly is transcription. We're going to see is going to happen in the nucleus, and it's going to be done by messenger RNA. Now, um, RNA polymerase is what's going to recognize the, the correct portion of the DNA to copy, and it will unlock, it helps unwind the DNA. And then when that happens, um, messenger RNA will be put together. Uh, it, will, um, it will start adding the, uh, the nitrogenous bases that are the nucleotides with the bases that are um, complementary to what's on the other side. And as it's putting it together, messenger RNA, mRNA is created. It'll get to a termination signal, which just is telling us when that gene stops. And then the messenger RNA will be released and it will go out through a nuclear pore into the cytoplasm looking for the first available free ribosome. Again, ribosome sites a protein synthesis, so it's looking for ribosomes to start synthesizing proteins. Um, and at this point, the DNA re, you know, attaches back together and winds back up into its double helix form. And so the DNA, remember in DNA we have A will bind with T and C will bind with G. All right. All right. So in uh, RNA, there is going to be a difference wherever there would be a T on the other side right, of the DNA strand, there isn't, so we have a U. So the very first one here, DNA, if this was DNA to DNA, it would be A to T. But since we're talking about DNA to RNA, and RNA can't have this T, we have a U there. Wherever a T is, remember, you know, don't get confused. A lot of students will think, well, that T, something's thrown off. Well, if this is one strand of DNA, on the other side is an A. Now, RNA has A, so we have an A here. So again, the only change is anywhere there would be a T. I don't have T on the RNA, so I've got a uracil, a U. And remember, these little dots right here, these dots represent hydrogen bonds. And don't overlook the fact that hydrogen bonds are really have one major, um, one major element that, that they're about, and it's hydrogen. Don't overlook that. This picture, and we'll see this in the next slide, kind of shows both translation, uh, transcription and translation. But I put it on here because I want to point out this is transcription. Right? We've got the little RNA strand that's developed here inside, and it's making copies back and forth. And remember that it's basically, if I was to compare this strand of RNA with this opposite strand of DNA, right? so it's unwound, and so the RNA gets in the middle, and all it would be was wherever there would be a T on this opposite side. Since we can't have a T, there's going to be a U. But it would be the exact same in every other way except for the uracil from side to side. Again, I hope that makes sense, and um, you know, we will continue on with the next video.